kids hope you all are very well so today once again here your priyanka miss is with you for your online classes so i welcome you all to our online classes um on the sequence of this online classes i promised you that we will go through from now on we will go through some of the grammatical items these are not directly mentioned in your syllabus but yet they are too much important for what these are important for the further topics or the further classes though they are not directly related but indirectly they are actually needed okay so uh, the grammatical items these are not mentioned into your syllabus but in your book i i i'm i want to remind you out that these are not actually mentioned in syllabus but they do these are of course mentioned in your active english book okay so that's why we can't ignore such grammatical items but at the same time i'm not asking you to uh, take it too much seriously for your exam the grammatical items these are actually somehow uh, somehow in your book somehow enlisted into your book these are uh, important but we are not learning the items for our coming exam clear we are not learning the items for our coming exam we are learning for uh, our actually a good base uh, our good ideas or our better uh, ideas on grammatical items that's it okay so literally you will have no questions from these items i mean this grammatical items these are not mentioned in your syllabus but they are basically in your book okay babies so don't be panic that means we'll surely uh, make some of the questions from such question uh, such items actually it's not like that okay so take it very easy very simple and um, just enjoy the class you don't need to do something else you just need to enjoy the class okay babies and listen to mrs instructions and words carefully that's it there will be no question from that there will be uh, no exam uh, concerning this uh, items okay babies uh, so let us uh, get started so basically we are going to have a class on a type of sentence that is assertive sentence okay earlier um, we already learned about interrogative sentence exclamatory sentences and uh, uh, imperative sentences remember the request order uh, this type of sentences i mean uh, this uh, type of uh, arguments or statements uh, if there's any kind of statements uh, about requesting or uh, giving or or just how uh, i mean uh, what's the definition of such sentences that's a imperative sentences but if you are asking something or you are being asked something that means the sentences are confined as interrogative sentences exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences basically uh, give the ideas about uh, expressing uh, wonder or uh, you know um, surprising is statements so these are called exclamatory sentences now what about assertive sentence let me tell you one thing that assertive sentence sentence is very easy cuz you have already faced so many i mean we are using assertive sentences in our day to day life okay every day we are uh, you know we deliver the assertive sentences so assertive sentences uh, are much alike to what on the previous class we have learned about it babies it is basically uh, you know it's it's a, a very normal statement okay so uh, we we have you know we have learned about simple uh, present indefinite tense so the sentences that we used for our simple present indefinite tense this state again uh, such statements are called as assertive sentences okay so i think assertive sentence i i can't find anything uh, too much difficult in assertive sentences out so let me give you the definition first okay assertive sentence means 
a kind of very general, common or natural statement. It can be positive or negative, either in affirmative or negative. Uh, let us let us make it apart from this positive or negative, affirmative or negative. You don't need to pay heed to this, uh, whether it is positive or negative. You don't need to pay heed too much here. Just remember one thing that the sentences that we basically use as a simple present indefinite tense. Uh, so this type of sentences are basically, are basically our such as our tip sentences. It can be positive or it can be negative. Both positive or negative if it is a very natural, if it is a very common or if it is a very general statement that will be an assertive sentence. Okay, so let us have a look on the definition first. So on the board, you can see uh, the title of our class is assertive sentence. Okay, so the definition is an assertive sentence is a sentence or an assertive sentence is a simple or general statement. It's a simple, simple means very easy and general means very common or natural. Very common or, or natural statement. It is also called declarative sentence. It is also called what? It is also called declarative sentence. Now, let me tell you one thing that how is it called declarative sentence? Whatever you declare, okay? Whatever statement you make as declaration, it is become declarative sentence. If I declare, sometimes we, we make declaration into the class like, uh, like, uh, Today we will go through chapter 19. This is the announcement. This is the declaration from your teacher towards you. So this kind of declaration, the sentence that I am using for such kind of announcement, this is assertive sentences. So uh, if I say that today we are not uh, doing any exercises from Active English Workbook. Today we are not going to have any exercises or today we are not doing any exercises from Active English Workbook. So then today we are not. So here uh, seeing the not or uttering the word not that means we are not that means it's a negative sentence so uh, though it is negative but still it's a kind of declaration from my uh, opinion or from my work you can have that announcement that um, today there's nothing to do with active English workbook okay so such kind of declaration is also assertive sentence got it so for you better um for you more ideas or better understanding let us have a look on some of the examples concerning assertive sentences okay so uh, see the first example is ankita is a good uh, girl An ankita or ankita um see there's a girl in our class who is very shy who is uh, very attentive and of course a very good human being inside out she is onkita onkita is a good girl isn't it a very general statement isn't it it uh, isn't um, it a very simple statement and it is of course uh, it is giving a positive vibe yes uh, is uh, isn't she a good girl of course, Ankita is a good girl because we, we have never seen her quarreling with uh, anyone or, uh, you know, shouting or um, making uh, such disturbances. So, of course, Ankita is a good girl. So, Ankita is a good girl. It's a very true and it's a general statement. So, everyone will say the same about Ankita, at least in our classroom. Isn't it? So, as Onkita is really a good girl, as it is a simple sentence, as it is a general statement, as it is a sentence like an, an announcement, so of course can't we say it as assertive sentence? Of course, as uh, there is nothing untrue or there is nothing wrong in this sentence, so it is an assertive sentence, okay? So now coming to the second one, see, Todhit is my friend. Uh, is there any friend named Todhit in, in your class? 
of course you have a friend uh, named Todir who is uh, who attends the, uh, the school classes regularly uh, who of course uh, follow uh, follows our online classes regularly he is Todir Jagma so Todir is my friend uh, is it true yes it is true is it a very uh, normal uh, sentence of course it's a very normal sentence there is nothing complicated in it it is a general sentence or general statement yes so that is your friend it's a very general statement so can we uh, say it as a assertive sentence yes it is an assertive sentence the uh, third one is parrot is a beautiful bird parrot uh, have you ever seen parrot the color is uh, you know the very greenish color pure greenish color uh, colored uh, bird is parrot so parrot is a beautiful bird isn't parrot a beautiful uh, bird don't you think that it's a beautiful bird is it true yes it is true that parrot is a beautiful bird uh, and of course one more thing is about parrot that parrot can also speak like human being if uh, you know if it learns to speak uh, isn't it yes so parrot is a beautiful bird can we uh, can we declare such a kind of sentence as assertive sentence yes so Unkita is a good girl Todit is my friend parrot is a beautiful bird this simple sentences are assertive sentence okay now uh, the thing that miss uh, told you that please don't be panicked about whether it is positive or negative uh, put it aside now it's time to uh, make it clear out okay so uh, as I was uh, saying that though it's an uh, it's, it's a declarative sentence yet there's a point that uh, whether it is in uh, positive or not uh, be it affirmative or not be it affirmative or negative you don't need to pay heed too much towards it you just need to understand that is it a simple thing is it a general statement is it a true statement if it is then yes it's an assertive sentence now it can be in negative also if i say that um if i say you are not naughty okay you are not naughty you are not naughty from this word not uh, can you uh, sense that it's a positive or negative whenever you see n that means it is negative you if you are seeing uh, the not here not means negative please keep in your mind that not means negative so it's a negative sentence but if it uh, see yes it's a negative sentence but it's it's giving you a simple view that means it's a very simple sentence that you are not naughty what's complicated in it what's wrong in it it's a very true it's uh, it's common it's general statement though it is negative okay so now if i if i uh, say that yes you are brilliant you are brilliant okay see is there any not no there's no not so it is not negative but it's a uh, positive sentence or it's the affirmative sentence but this two are with not or without not this two both they are called assertive sentence okay what is it they are called assertive sentences so that's it i hope uh, you got the idea so once again please let us go through the uh, go through from the very first one that what is assertive sentence assertive sentence is a kind of sentence that basically means a simple statement a general statement uh, a simple announcement or a sentence of declaration okay it can be positive or negative it can be with uh, not or without not okay if it is very simple if it is true and if it is very common or general one then it will be an assertive sentence okay babies so i hope you got the idea please don't be panicked about the exam this is not gonna be in your uh, exam i would not like to include such items into your exam so don't be panicked about exam i repeat this is not for your exam this is only for learning only to have a good base on uh, grammatical items that's it okay uh, take care and stay well